trainer. In the last video, we learned about volume and volume formula. In this video, we're going to do something different and learn about probability, probability lines, and types of questions which help you master probability. So let's go into the video. First of all, what is probability? Probability is how likely something happens. So let's take an example. For example, you have one coin and one, of the, one side of the coin is heads and the other side is tails. So now, here you wanted to find the probability of what's the likelihood to get a head. So this is what you do. You want to find heads, so you write 1 over and let's take how many sides are there. 1 and 2. So you have 2. And it's 1 over 2. So the probability to get heads is 1 over 2. So now let's keep this in a probability line. A probability line looks something like this. It's from, it starts from 0, which is impossible. And 1, 2, 3, 4. And in middle, it has 1 over 2, which is even. We call it even. And then 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we have 1, which is certain. So impossible is something that can never happen. Even is something that has an even chance to happen. And certain is something that would definitely happen. And you might be thinking, what do we call these four lines here? Anything in those four lines, we call them this unlikely actually so any probability which is in these four lines we call it unlikely and what do we call the probability in these four lines we call it likely it's exactly opposite so unlikely is something that has a less chance of happening but not impossible uh, but not even an even chance like an equal chance and likely is something that doesn't have a certain chance. We don't know it definitely, but it has a likely chance to happen. So now let's keep one or two in the probability line. Let's see. Zero, this here, 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 and one or two here, which is even. So uh, to get a heads, the probability of getting heads is even. So we have an even chance to get heads or tails. So let's try another example. Now let's use dice. In dice, there's six sides. One, two, three, four, five, and six. One and two circles, three, four, five, and six. So let's see that each of this is one of the side in the dice. And let's assume that this is a fair dice, which you generally use when playing snakes and ladders and other board games similar to it. So let's see how much is the probability for one of these six sides. So let's count. It's one, so we write one over. And the sides are one, two, three, four, five, six, so we write six. And the probability is one over six. Let's keep that on the probability line. So here, where does 1 over 6 come? 1 over 6 is between 0 and 1 over 2. 
it would come in the unlikely zone. But where in the unlikely zone? Where in the four lines? So then we need to divide 6 and 1, 0 point, 10, 6 point is 6, 4, and we just need the information until here. It starts with a 1, so it's going to be in the first line, and it ends with a 6, which is over 5, so it's going to be nearly... To the right of the first line, which is near to the second line, its, it's placement is somewhere here on the number line. So that's the probability of one of the side in the dice. So now, instead of doing dice or any um, coin toss, let's try spinners. So let's think we have a spinner and in the spinner we have four, six and we have eight slices in the spinner. Let's name this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's not in the order as you can see and we have a spinner here. So this is the button to start spinning and this is to stop. So a person would try the spinner and they would click the go button. It starts spinning, spinning, spinning. And when they click the stop button, it comes and ends over four. So what's the probability to get four? It's one over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1 over 8. Which would be in the unlikely zone in the probability line. But it's not going to be impossible because there's still a 1 over 8 chance to get 4. Now, what's the chance to get all the numbers except 4? So let's count the numbers except for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 and the total is 8. So there's a 7 over 8 chance to get, uh, to get the spinner landing on numbers which are not 4. Which is very likely and it's almost certain but it's not certain because there's still 1 over 8 chance to land on 4. So, now let's try another type of spinner. Let's try the colors to determine what we have to do. So, in this spinner, this much is all red. And... That much is yellow. So when you get a question like this and when somebody asks you, what, what's the probability to get red in the spinner? You check how many are in red. One, two, three, four, five. So five out of eight are in red. So the probability of, to get red is five over eight, which is likely. And now if anyone asks you, what's the probability to get yellow? One, two, three. So the probability, uh, the probability to get yellow is three over eight, which is unlikely. And this is because um, there are there's one of the balls extra in red than yellow. So if we from here, if we take one of the side and give it to three, it's going to be even which is 4 over 8 and 4 over 8. Now let's try another question, which is not about spinners, not about dice, and not about coin toss.
So for example, you have a marble bag and in that bag you kept four red marbles, five yellow marbles and six green marbles. And you keep them in this marble um, bag and you mix them up so you don't know what is what and then you pick one yellow marble and the denominator would be 15 so it's 1 over 15 so the probability of getting one yellow marble uh, out of the 15 marbles in this basket is 1 over 15 it's going to be very unlikely as per the probability scale. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload another video.